Can you complete this flag? It's a mobile game where you make a flag. What the hell is this? He almost put like the Greek copyright symbol in the top left hand corner. What's that point for? Did they want it at all? Oh, and they fly it too? Yeah, I was gonna say disgusting. What are even mobile games anymore? This US flag fully complies with the United States flag code. So by very definition, this is a US flag. Here are the stars and here are the stripes. I'm sure Taiwan especially loves this design, but I wonder what Zhang Zina has to say about it. I love when software chooses random flags to go along with different languages. English, America, I'm sure the British will love that. Espanol, Mexico, and China. That, that is China. I guess this one makes sense, technically. There are just so many different examples of this. I, I don't understand why it keeps happening. This is actually the real life humanity flag. It is their real design. It is not a poop post. We have the layout of the US flag with the stars and stripes, yet there is a French watermark and then a bunch of British flags lined up. Who possibly thought this was a good idea? I love that this was the design chosen to represent humanity because you're only human if you're from America, France, or the UK. Flag of the Netherlands, but it's really, really angry at you. Is this what it looks like to be a water molecule off the coast of this country? It's the last thing you see before you get turned into land. A Kentucky flag redesign. The 15 stars represent that Kentucky was the 15th state to join the Union. This horse is supposed to be running towards a finish line as well to look towards the future. And then interestingly, the color design comes from Kentucky bluegrass, which is supposed to represent like nature and forests. I think we can all agree that it's definitely better than what they have right now, but still not better than this redesign. The way this geography textbook horrifically redesigned Nepal's flag. How dare you? Whoever made this decision deserves to be put in prison. So much beauty of the real life flag is lost when you put it like that. That's why it's one of the coolest flags in the world. Ah uh, yes, the flag mashup bot on Twitter, special edition, Crimea plus England equals cringe land. Finally, we have a place to represent my mother country. Flag of Chile, but it goes along with the country's geography. Well, kind of. You need to hang it vertically, I feel. Why shouldn't their country just do this to flex on people? The Philippines flag, but it's actually just a bunch of bags of chips. The amount of time and effort this man put into this when like some kid is gonna come and just grab one chip, just ruin the whole thing. Okay, I guess they would need to take more than one chip, but like four of these yellow ones, I wouldn't even want to take these chips. Even if I wanted to buy them, I'm like, man, I don't want to mess up your design. Flag of Japan, but in Saudi Arabian style. This actually looks pretty cool. They should do this. This text says long live Japan and the gun is an Arisaka type 99. A proposal for the East African Federation, which includes South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, and Kenya. So the current flag is okay. I mean, it's all right. You included all the colors, it seems like, from the original squad. But this new proposal is going to be a bit more simplified. I feel like just for the lulls, why not make it into that same shape as the Nepal flag? I don't know, just spice it up a bit. I really hope this was unintentional. Maps and flags of Europe, but this includes all of the breakaway states, or places that might possibly be independent one day. Let's just get the elephant out of the room. Spain is just a complete mess. What is this? Granada, Galicia, Navarra, of course, Catalonia being the big one, and I love how Portugal's just fine. France also has a lot of breakaway states. I mean, I guess the big one being Brittany, Normandy, Belgium no longer exists, which is probably the most realistic thing on here so far. The UK gets completely destroyed. I get Wales, but uh, some of these other ones is crazy. The Nordic lands didn't dodge any bullets either, but it's really just Sweden and kind of Norway that's getting hit. Iceland's a unified island though. Why not have East Germany break away from, wait, why is Switzerland gone? Bavaria its own thing, and uh, Yugoslavia has just been Yugoslavian even further. I never imagined it could get worse, but I guess it always can. Greece and Turkey just over here despising each other still, but they still look the same. Italy's also a mess, but there's a lot of flags on here that I never- Oh, look at this flag of Sicily. This is- absolutely horrifying. How about the Mexican flag except with this monstrosity on it? A flag for communist America, but they try to avoid using the hammer and sickle, which would probably make sense. If the US went communist, they probably wouldn't want to represent it with the hammer and sickle. So you're keeping the stars and stripes and then you're including this thing. Is there like a cog back there? And is this like food? Is that wheat? Of course, you gotta go with that classic red. Of course, there's been many attempts to change the USA flag with a communist redesign. I think the hammer and sickle can be a little bit lazy, so it's nice to see you try not to use that. Although two a looks kind of cool. I feel like this is the most common one I see though. Flag proportions alignment chart. Oh no, not flag aspect ratios again. So lawful good is France, which makes sense 2 by 3. Neutral good Germany 3 by 5. Then there's Belgium 13 by 15. Love that you made sure the flags are actually their proper aspect ratio. Lawful neutral, the UK flag 1 by 2. True neutral, that's right. 1 by 1 the Swiss, that's why it's beautiful. Then we start getting a little wild. Chaotic neutral, the USA. Lawful evil, neutral evil, and then chaotic evil, yes. I can't believe there's even 
an aspect ratio of numbers for you to come up with this Nepal flag. I just really want some country to throw the whole world off and make their like flag proportion like as if a five-year-old randomly tried to cut a star through like construction paper. Like it has no real shape. Someone posted this beautiful Argentinian doggo flag to the flag subreddit and seconds later you've been permanently banned. Literally 1984. The flag of Japan but this was changed from a dot JPEG to a dot PNG. Crazy how the file format can change so much about this country's flag. The world's average flag in each continent. So in South America, if you choose the average, it's gonna be kind of all over the place. Yet when you use population weighted or just land area weighted, it really gets taken over by Brazil. Again, Oceania is just gonna kind of evenly distribute all of the countries. That's why it's always gonna be a bit more wild. Australia and New Zealand really kind of dominate here. Once you start taking the average land area and population, North America is literally just chaos. You can see the USA flag. Mexico has more population than Canada, but Canada has the most land area, so they really show off in this one. Europe is obviously too chaotic. Oh, Russia really stands out with land area. What is even Asia? This is really just the flag of China and India mixed together. Africa is way too distributed just evenly across the board. And then worldwide, there is no mean, although you can really see that copyrighted UK flag right there. It's on so many flags. It's like that's the most distinguished symbol. When you use population, it's just China, USA, and India. And then, yeah, land area, it's just going to be Canada and Russia. Oh, I can see Brazil in there. I can see all the former UK colonies. Flag of China, but I do not care at all about my social credit score. Where is this store at? I really gotta go to one of these flag stores. The Union Jack flag, or the British flag, if England left the Union, which is a scenario that no one could ever imagine, but this would be the new thing flying outside their capital building. The new UK would consist of just Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. I feel like at that point you gotta leave some whale representation somehow. Might as well throw the dragon on this bad boy and call it a day. Technically, shouldn't it look like this though? Because it doesn't matter. The city of Springfield, Missouri recently tried to change their flag from this to this, and it apparently got a lot of pushback. You normally don't see this sort of thing, I feel, especially when it comes to, like, simplifying flags. But there was a lot of people against this. Myth 1, designed by millennials with nothing else to do. <laughs> I really, really want to see this city council meeting. Does anyone have a video link? Good old 22 people watching. Oh, this man fully embraced it. Tensions were clearly pretty high. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty boring, I guess. If this flag had become iconic enough over the decades, I can imagine how this situation played out. The flag of every math class of all time. Like, all the math teachers should be flying this. Have someone hold it into battle as they charge the English teachers. Flags of the world if they were Minecraft items. Literally, no one has ever asked for this, but I'm actually kind of interested. I'll always love being forced to make flags out of pixel art style like this. Although I, I think you kind of cheated with the Philippines here. I feel like you got to force yourself to only use blocks. Well, I guess they're they're kind of blocks if you zoom in enough. Some of these are looking kind of sussy. Well, look at that Spain one. That one's not easy to do. There's got to be a mod to allow this. Please, let me put this in my next Minecraft Let's Play. Flag of France, but I changed the yellow to gray to turn it into the country of the Nintendo Switch is, it's basically a Nintendo Switch. But Crone, when are you gonna make this update? The Poland and Monaco unification flag. Technically, the reds are different, so that would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, why not? They're both in Europe. You can't do Poland and Indonesia. That's just too unrealistic. And everyone is unique and rare, that ants four sons. Very unique and rare, that's for sure. Definitely a lot of differences throughout all these flags. Optical illusion flags. Why not? This would be trippy. Why not do something like that? It's definitely a way to get people to just stare at your flag a lot more. Brazil, this would be cool. Let's make it happen. Then again, 2D flags are so last year. This new cube design of Cuba really has got it going on. I'm sure this will fly great in the wind. Unofficial flags with their own emojis, or basically what the emojis got wrong. Basically just a bunch of French states or nations, but all of them vary. Some of them have partial official recognition, no official recognition, but different uses in public, and then completely rejected by the public. What? I use this one all the time in my videos. This is known as the Graham Bratram proposal. This was designed from a computer computers program in the 90s. It was never officially adopted or widely used. It's outdated depiction of Antarctica's ice shelves, which may have changed. Oh yeah, you know what? This stuff is probably changing. This has led people in Antarctica to reject the flag. People in Antarctica. So you mean like all 13? To be fair, there could be at least a thousand, but man, they're probably really angry. Technically on Wikipedia, the flag of Antarctica is actually this one. Seems like this would be a simpler design for an emoji rather than this. This seems complicated. I've always preferred this one though. I don't know. It looks cool. 
Oh wow, so literally all of these other flags that were included in that list are all just supposed to be official French flags. Okay, I get you, but that's boring. Why would you not want your specific location included like this with its own like flag? Even if it is technically just a French department or whatever. Man, I'd feel really valid if they included my place that only has like 80 people in it. Some of these designs were never officially adopted, but you know, who cares? I'm a fan of this snake flag, although I don't think Quebec would like it. Is this true? Someone basically said it's the no-no German flag. Things are getting wild out here. The Canadian flag, except it uses more of a darker red. I think this would be a perfect war flag for Canada. Not even a war flag, like after they won the war and they have this Canadian Imperial Empire. Wait, I said that's too... I said the same thing twice, but I would like that. This is in a Vietnamese market in the Czech Republic. You heard that correctly. And they're representing everyone out here. Weird that there's no Vietnamese flag, though. I see some other ones in the background. Even pirates have joined in. Everyone out here is valid. I wonder if these flags are for sale. Oh, no, not this game again. This time he's got to make Mexico. Okay, I see that there was already a pretty big problem. Line it up, line it up. Okay, put that star on that thing. Okay, I think I think his intentions were to just do... That's the Vietnam flag, ain't it? I think I did my job, right? I'm enjoying the uh, addition of these new characters that have to fly the flag. This game's getting better and better. Nike, man, what are y'all doing? Well, first of all, I need to figure out what language this is in and what country it is in, too. Okay, so China has the Swiss flag. Everything else isn't that bad. Weird to see, like, Germany's... What is this? It's all like off proportion. Out of all the acronyms you could have chosen for Canada, you did CDN. You went with three instead of two letters? I get E for Spain because of Espania and then D, Deutschland. They actually did not do too bad of a job on this USA flag considering all the details you need. They didn't even try with Spain. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I Love Mark. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. Luxembourg Lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring Back Poland Barnsky W. Aryan After Hours. A fat Norwal. Alfonso M6. Ivan Lima. Majestic Unicorn. Michael, Max Cooper, Mick Blorf, Mimo Shiki, Mind Brothers 999, Robert Philip e. and Ride the Pie. 